Hi guys, welcome to the show. I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And here are the goods. After two weeks! After <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Forever. This has been one of the most stressful and hectic times for me. Mm. Working in a movie theater, it, it takes a lot of time away. I don't have the same schedule as the normies, as you guys. Cause, the normies. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, you guys are nine to five, yeah. weekends off, nowhere. My, my Mondays are Friday, very, very different. Very, very different. But that's fine, because we shoot the show on Tuesdays. But let's get, <laughs> let's get this going. Top, top, uh, top five box office. Right. I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> you forgot how to do the show. <laughs> do it again. No, we're not doing it again. Keep going. <laughs> you gotta do this one again. Oh shit. All right. So we start with the box office, and uh, no surprise here. Infinity War, yes. Avengers, two hundred and fifty-seven million dollars opening weekend. Crazy money, and I was like, that beats Star Wars. Crazy money. Destroyed yeah. Force Awakens. You know, it, it 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 did beat Star Wars. It's more than likely. Well, I don't believe it'll catch uh, Force Awakens domestic. Uh, um, domestic of oh, over, I, I over think, 900 million. I, I don't think it'll do it. I think it's gonna do it. It may be. It may, I think it repeat may, viewings are gonna make it do it. Right now, <laughs> right now it's uh, at 800 million worldwide, mm -hmm. and I don't believe it's open in China yet. So that is absolutely gonna be in the conversation of uh, of the, the the two billion dollar club. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, right now I think this hits two billion. I, I, mm -hmm. I honestly believe it will too because it has not gone to China yet. Um, Marvel films do pretty well. Overseas, James Cameron is rolling around like, what am I gonna do? Let me hurry up and get Avatar two out. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you, you know Cameron's got mm. Avatar at one, Titanic at two, and then you know Abrams has uh, uh, Force, Force Awakens. Awakens at three. It's a possibility that the Russos can break into that that conversation yeah, there. So this is gonna do it. If this it's, if uh, this doesn't do it, Avengers four will do it. Yeah, it, it, no, I don't think it will. I think, I think they, Avengers I think, 4 I think will do gonna work, I think Jedi gonna, numbers. I think Jedi they're going to work out the whole thing with China for Avengers 4. I think they're going to, because that's all they're missing right now, is that if China had released on the same day, no problem. I think they're going to work that out for Avengers 4. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll see uh, how that goes. Number two, Quiet Place, uh, way distant. Which I still haven't seen. Oh, way <laughs> distant, 11 million. Hey, but did, did you know Quiet Place was actually supposed to be a Cloverfield movie? Yeah, Cloverfield <laughs> Place. Yeah, right? Yeah. Cloverfield Place. <laughs> <laughs> so 11 million for uh, good for second place. Nobody had a chance uh, against Avengers. The only people that went to go see that film were the five people who didn't go watch Avengers. <laughs> but but the, you know, they couldn't. They went to they see Avengers. They couldn't it. was like it was sold out. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Quiet place, let's do it. 148 million uh, so far total off of a 17 million dollar budget. Hey, look, that's that gives us another Cloverfield yeah. sequel. Can they please go back and change the title like they did with uh, with uh, Live, Die, and Repeat? And there's like, can you change the title? Yeah. How about this? Uh, can, we, again? Can, can we get Cloverfield Paradox out of canon and make oh this? Oh my God! Yes. Make this. Please, that movie was garbage. <laughs> make this part of this, like the <laughs> please like, do that. I can't believe they took the Cloverfield <laughs> name off that, but they put out Cloverfield Paradox. Exactly. Jeez. Number three was Amy Schumer's. I feel pretty. Where she showed a boob. Eight million that was snatched. Was this no? I feel pretty. She showed a boob in that one too. Oh, it's like there's a whole there's a whole scene. It's like this is just one boob. Impressive, thing. Amy. But anyway, <laughs> uh, not impressive enough because it's uh, number three. Eight million, uh, twenty nine million so far. <laughs> in snatch, she showed a boob, but not. <laughs> yeah, a movie called, a movie called <laughs> Snatched. She showed. Forget it. All right, number four, oh, Rampage. I can honestly say now. Mm -hmm. That The Rock has just broken the video game curse. Really? Right now, that movie has made uh, it's done 78 million. That's not including internationally. Worldwide, okay. it's done close to 300 million dollars, or a little over 300 million dollars. It was I good he, before. I think he does well internationally. I think like people like he is one of those characters where like he's known. You know, yeah. internationally. So I think that his films do well internationally. So they always make money because he knows he can sell it all across the world. And, so. and I think uh, pretty much it's him though. His personality, how he is in real life, uh, and when he goes out there to Beijing and he goes out and there, he promotes his movies. Yeah, he <laughs> promotes his movies. He puts a lot of effort into it, and uh, you know, he promotes where he's at. The people there acknowledges the people there, and then you couple that with the fame that he got from WWE. You can't, you know, you can't go wrong right. with The Rock. That's why I say that he really did. I think, in my opinion, broke the curse. You know, did what video game movies, uh, you know, were really meant to be popcorn flicks, mm -hmm. just fun movies. Rampage was no different. I thought it was, I thought it was, it was a pretty good movie. It's not like the best in the world, no, I it's not. It was okay. But uh, it but wasn't no Mortal Kombat. It was not Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but it was. 
Shout out to Robin Show, baby. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. The end, the end scene with the gorilla was just yeah, absolutely crazy. It was yeah. hilarious. I walked out of that movie laughing. Number five, and you can thank number one for this because Black Panther actually came back and got into the number five. And we actually talked about it uh, a while back on a previous show about seeing it at the same time. Yeah, because yeah. because of the you know from a continuity standpoint, like let me get a refresher here. Yeah. Let me, well, let me watch it again before I go watch it. Exactly. Finish. And it was just funny. It was like I went into the theater. I was like, wait, they're still showing Black Panther? <laughs> <laughs> it was literally in the auditorium right next to Infinity War. I was like, who's still seeing this? <laughs> okay, spoiler real quick. Give me the spoiler. There it is. All right. Mm-hmm. You know, how, how crazy was that? It, he just died and he's right here. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We're going to use the, we're going to use the time stone and we're going to go right over to the theater and watch it. <laughs> 11 weeks and it's still in the top five. That, uh, you know, what is the, I know you don't have the stat, but dang, what is the longest run of a movie in the theaters? Is it, is it Avatar or is it Titanic? It might be, uh, well, I, I would probably say, uh, Avatar. Right. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense for it to be Avatar. Because that's the reason the why Avatar, three, yeah. Yeah, Avatar like, made so much money because it was in the theater forever. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but for it to k- still be in the top five, I mean, it was still, it was pretty cl- pretty high in the top five for the first, what, six, six, seven weeks? Yeah, I think most films around six weeks, they're, they're right, already let's, out. Let's, let's work on getting this to video. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And this one is not. It's still doing, going strong thanks to Infinity War. So, uh, yeah. So what's next? What's next? Out this week. Out this week. That, that still has no chance because, you know. And you're not coming in number one. You ain't coming in number <laughs> one. No way in hell. Uh, but it was kind of smart to bring Infinity War to the tail end of April mm-hmm. because May 4th is really, it's, it's technically Star Wars Day, but it's really Marvel Day also because a majority of the films, Captain America, Guardians, all, all these movies come out May 4th right. or that first week of May. Right. Starting the summer. And, and, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, yeah. And they, they changed it up a little bit, making April 27th uh, Avenger Day, Marvel Day, whatever. And uh, so now they got a second week to play with. I don't see a significant drop in, in the no, percentage of this. Not, not, what's coming out this week? Overboard. Nothing. The remake Nothing. to the Goldie Hawn Kurt Russell no, movie. No, I didn't even know this was coming out. No, where, no. Where the roles are reversed. And no. Anna Ferris is the broke one, and Eugenio Derbez is the rich guy, the Look, rich spoiled guy. I love me some Anna Ferris. I love me some Anna Ferris. I love Anna Ferris. I'm not going to watch this movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to watch this movie. Video. Hey, there you go. Boot ray There you go. When it comes Either to Netflix, <laughs> I'll watch it on Netflix. Like, and I love her. And I was like, she's funny to me. She's super attractive to me. I was like, but I'm not watching this movie. To go, you can't do a Goldie Hawn film. Not, not this film. Not yeah. this film. Maybe if you want to do Bad News Bears or if you want to do... Um, well, they did Bad News Bears. It's Billy Bob Thornton. Remember? <laughs> True Beverly Hills. Yeah, some, some, no, it's like not nah, not this film. Yeah, and a lot of people actually feel that way too. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's not gonna. It doesn't stand a chance. Infinity War mm-hmm. will remain number one. Uh, I was thinking about May the fourth. Uh, wouldn't that have been a perfect time to put Solo out? It would have been, but Avengers were <laughs> already. They they couldn't cut their own throat. Okay, it's one of those things where like um, I'm expecting another trailer. Well, no, they're doing TV spots now, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so they're not gonna do another trailer. So it's just a bunch of TV spots. I expect some type of Star Wars news to come out from from May the Fourth. Be with you. Um, what else is coming up? I mean, they can't do Episode Nine this early. So. No, not right now. Maybe they may announce that Boba that Boba Fett movie. They they uh, they will uh, start filming Episode Nine already. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a significant time jump according to John Boyega, mm-hmm. so maybe that'll be a little bit more of an insight from as far as the production notes. I'm we'll saying see how it goes. Boba Fett movie gets announced. Um, so uh, Infinity War, like I said, is tearing it up right now and leaves a lot of questions towards the end. Now Art and Terrence have already uh, uh, will be having their uh, in their uh, Infinity War spoiler review coming out pretty soon, so look for that. Uh, that should be out this weekend. Uh, but it does leave a lot of questions. Now you guys touched on it a little bit, but let's talk about some of the questions that that, that might come up. Uh, title for Avengers Four. Now people are already shooting down Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. And I guess that well, the gauntlet's kind of destroyed. So why would they call it the gauntlet unless you're getting a new gauntlet to, so somebody else can wear? Well, there is mm-hmm. another gauntlet. Yeah, there's a in, and Hella, th- but it blew up on in and Asgard. That's very true. She threw it on the floor. But she there, was like fake. But there was another gauntlet in <laughs> uh, in uh, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> fake news. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, if that was on the <laughs> cutting room floor, it would have been awesome. Peter Dinklage's planet, uh, in his little, where, where, where he's at, there's mm -hmm. a gauntlet there. Right. So, oh, it was. It was the mold of the yeah, gauntlet. Yeah, there was a gauntlet mm -hmm. there. So, could that play a part? I okay. don't know. We'll see. Uh, what role does Captain Marvel play? Um, I think that she is going to be the Superman of the MCU. And she's going to be the one to actually... Uh, it seems like it's setting up to where like she's going to be the person that takes down Thanos. Uh, but I kind of like the comics where they do with Gamora as and, one of... Yeah, and we, Nebula. Yeah, and Nebula. So it's one of those things I, I would prefer to stay that way, but the way that they're building this up, it seems like it's going to be Captain Marvel. You mm -hmm. know, if they... Uh, now, you brought up a freaking awesome point that Infinity War kind of resembles... Uh, Transformers the movie, the animated yeah, movie in 1986. In that movie, you get Hot Rod out of nowhere becomes Rodimus Prime and saves it. I right. see Nebula in the exact same role. Okay. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere, she's going to be the hero. She's going to wield the gauntlet mm -hmm. just like she did in the comics, mm -hmm. and she, she'll be the one to, to take Thanos right. out. Mm -hmm. uh, with as much hate and uh, anger that she has, especially after being tortured in Infinity War, yeah, was, who's to say, intense. and it was pretty intense <laughs> and brutal, who's to say that, yeah, that that's not the route that they go, and uh, she is the Rodimus Prime of this one? <laughs> She's the Rodimus Prime of this one. Nebula Prime. Uh, Nebula Prime. Nebula Prime. Uh, well, she, well, yeah, 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 she couldn't be cut. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> The, the, I would like to see that because it seems like Marvel was really trying to push the women mm -hmm. in the MCU and this it's like the men kind of took a, outside of Thor and his final scene the men really took a back seat in this film uh, every woman that was really prominent was like or every woman that's in the MCU became really prominent in this film with the exception of Black Widow because I mean, but at the she even had her moment in the because, fight scene it was like because you, would, you I mean who's I mean, you would probably think that she has had her limelight in the rest of the movie and she's also setting up for her own solo film so exactly <laughs> wasn't Jennifer Lawrence in that no yeah it was it was, it was, it was called it was called Red Sparrow. I don't know if you saw it <laughs> which they're actually they've cast they've already looked at sixty five directors women directors for uh, Black Widow so that's that they'll be coming out pretty soon okay. with the announcement on that but uh, you know she's I think she's already had her fair share of spotlight. Yeah, that's what it gave being, it to other people. As, mm -hmm. being, as being one of the original Avengers uh, as well. But you're right, Scarlet Witch had a big role in mm -hmm. this. Gamora had an even bigger role on this. Role and to be honest with you, I think she is, they're going to, you know, possibly if Nebula is going to be the Rodimus Prime, they're going to actually right. throw, throw in another loop there and go search for Spock. Aww. And you, <laughs> with her going after the Soul Stone or whatever to oh, get yeah. Gamora out. To get more out. Because okay. she's possibly in that's soul for soul. So this whole thing was like, I kind of wanted to be when, like, when Gamora died because they kept saying that the next uh, Guardians film was going to feature a new team. I kind of wanted it to be a permanent thing for Gamora that she was gone so that way they make Nebula part of the team you know there's like they already got Mantis you know maybe they just kind of just build a new team without well, Gamora Gamora died pre-snap so yeah. I, I, I could understand that but if it is truly soul for soul and uh, she is in the soul stone mm -hmm. I wouldn't be that upset the thing with the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is um, it's a possibility that the original Guardians headed by Sylvester Stallone nah, I don't see that. could possibly be nah, in that too. That. Like, so make a cameo. We'll see that I don't see that. I don't see that. <laughs> okay, speaking of Guardians, at the end of Guardians 2, you got a chance uh, uh, to see uh, uh, Adam Warlock being birthed or made or whatever. By the way, he wore the Infinity Gauntlet too. So. And he played also played a big role in the comics. So that's obviously he is not going to be in it's, Avengers they 4. They didn't set that up before well enough to do it so. because he's supposed to be the head of Guardians 3 mm -hmm. so where does that leave Warlock then that leaves him not part of this storyline is what it does like as far as importance do you think he'll eventually be something really big I think, or I, think just, when they, I think when they bring him just for Guardians they're gonna bring Nova okay I think they're gonna do that because um the Nova Corps seems like, because that was one thing they, they glossed over in the movie. It's like, how did he get the Power Stone? The Nova Corps had the Power Stone. So he, there was a part that we're missing where he wrecked shot with the Nova Corps. I think we're going to start working towards bringing Nova here. Okay. All right. So um, That's good. That's interesting. Yeah. So that's what I see, but you know, it's up to the MCU to tell <laughs> what it is. Well, because of all of these deaths that happened um, and, and everybody has their theories of who's coming back and all this and good stuff, uh, screenwriter, the screenwriters have actually said that not everybody does come back. Every A lot of the deaths in Infinity War are true. They I'm are saying they're real. The permanent deaths, Heimdall, Loki, mm -hmm. I say Gomorrah is gone. Mm -hmm. And who else died permanently? Vision. Vision, there you go. 
I say perm no, Vision's gonna come back because even in the comics, he had the stone removed. But he's and changed. Then, he's, yeah, it's he's like a different color. He did he's, he did the whole the white version. The white version. Yeah, that's so right, it's like right. I think okay. they'll bring him back, but he won't be the same vision. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. Um, will we see more Hulk? Because there is I say Red Hulk comes. I think we I think we get Red Hulk. Red Hulk. That would be interesting. I, think I, I would like to see that. Yeah, I see. I think. I think we're, because that's the reason why they showed him at the very beginning with the uh, I can't remember his name for the life of me when uh, Rhodey was talking to him and he wiped him off with the CGI thing. Oh yeah, um, Ross. Thank you, Everett Ross. It's not Everett Ross. No, General Ross. General Ross. All right. So he becomes Red Hulk. So I think that that's where we get. I think that's where we. I don't think we see Banner. I think we see Red Hulk in Avengers Four. Uh, I don't know. That, I think that would be awesome. He's not as strong as the actual Hulk, but I think it would be awesome to get Red Hulk. Hulk, Hulk tile dysfunction, how's that? Yeah, okay. He had yeah. Hulk tile yeah. dysfunction. Dis Look, Hulk got his butt kicked at the beginning of the film. I would stay inside too. It was like, mm -hmm. can we get Hulk some Cialis? Don't call me out. Gamma Ray Cialis. Don't call me out. Tell me when Thanos is gone, <laughs> then I'll come out. Look, Hulk got beat by Thor, by the way. And Ragnarok, he got beat by Thor. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, one significant person that was missing in all of this, besides Hawkeye, uh, is Ant-Man. Cool haircut. Was, <laughs> was Ant-Man. Okay. Ant-Man was, uh, was missing on that. Uh, the new Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer recently was uh, released, and yeah. I really like the new trailer. I like the new trailer, too, and it's one of the things where, like, uh, I love the original Ant-Man. And this gave me a little bit more of that, and the fact that they keep doing the whole giant man thing, and it was like, <laughs> just like, are, are you guys done measuring sizes? <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and uh, uh, pretty much using using the truck as a skateboard, yeah. like a scooter. <laughs> Hilarious. I, I like what they're gonna do with this. Like I said, number one, number one MCU comedy. <laughs> no, that's Thor, man. That's Thor, Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok. Number two MCU comedy. There you go. There you go. Uh, they had me at Rob Base. <laughs> Man, that trailer had me at Rob Base it takes two. <laughs> so it's one of those things where like uh, I'm really excited. It's one of the, it's really weird that the fact that we're gonna go back when Infinity War kind of left us on such a cliffhanger. And you, you're ready to see what's coming next. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go back in time to find out what's going on and why he wasn't there for Infinity War. And it's one of those things where like, hey, Aliens are on the planet, but yet we're gonna do this other stuff. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, there was that attack, you know, with the Black Order in New York. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that did take place. Right. He's obviously not in New York. He's obviously not in New York. He's not in New York, so there's that. Mm -hmm. Then you got um, all of the other stuff happening on Wakanda on the other side of the freaking right. planet. Mm -hmm. So that's also, he's nowhere near that either. Um, so he's in Hawaii. So wherever he's at, I mean, something must be going on. It could be tie. It, it could be keeping him from that, or it could be part of his mission to to that's eventually going to tie into what goes on to uh, uh, to. The, I'm assuming that it, to the it, next whatever you know, whatever happens is going to have a, a major tie in to Infinity. War. Right. And it's like exactly. You're be like, oh, that's why he wasn't there. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think all of those questions will be answered when that comes yeah, out. But course. the yeah. but the movie does look great. Great special effects. Yeah. You know what? To be honest with you, T, I think the fight scenes in this movie mm -hmm. is pretty much highlighting some of the best martial arts since Blade in a, in a Marvel film. Which they need to bring Wesley back for it. But, uh, but do you agree? Yeah, no, it was really good. It was like it was one of the things where like, I'll, I like what they do with, the, with, with Ant-Man in general. Whether it was like with the shrinking and enlarging and stuff like that, but the fight scenes really did stand out in this movie. And Evangeline. In this trailer. I think mm -hmm. Evangeline. Yeah, Lily, right? Lily. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, you know, because Scarlet Joe can throw down. I mean, that's good martial arts. She has, she, a great, she has a great stunt double. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying the character. Yeah. The character does some pretty good martial arts. Mm -hmm. But this is more hand to hand Bruce Lee type of martial right. arts. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is probably, since Blade, yeah. the best Marvel. As of right now, the best martial arts in, uh, in the MCU. Did you watch? Did you watch Winter Soldier? Did you see that that fight with him and Badrock? Uh, Badrock. Did you see that? That was an amazing fight. He was like, I thought you. But were it more wasn't. Than a, I thought you were more than a shield. Hold up. Hold up. But it wasn't. <laughs> but it wasn't. Cons it, 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 I don't think it's been consistent. This looks a little bit more consistent. No, because hand -hand. you know what? Because yeah. the Russo's didn't, like. direct, Russo's didn't direct the rest of the movies. The Russo's directed the Winter Soldier, and they showed that he was a kick ass. And he was like, "Hold up, let me put my shield up. Let, let's get down." That was a good scene. <laughs> that, that was a good scene. I'll give you that. Uh, you saw a little bit more of Ghost on this one. Mm -hmm. They really didn't talk about it or show her too much in, right. in the in the first trailer. You Which I'm really curious because I'm not that familiar with that character, so I'm really curious what they do with it. Well, right now um, Ghost is a man, mm -hmm. and this time it's a female. Mm -hmm. You know the the roles are reversed, the gender gender right. reversal I mean, is there. But 
I think she's still doing it justice. I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly who's playing her, but she, you know, she looks damn the part. I mean, it looks the, the scenes with ghosts were awesome. Right. So I'm curious to see how that goes. Uh, Pena, my primo, might steal the show because he's just downright hilarious. That dude stole the show in the first movie. <laughs> exactly. He might do it again because yeah. the, the the parts with him in the trailer is just hey, we robbed you, man. <laughs> That's just hilarious. It's just so damn funny. Um, Fishburn right. comes out, mm -hmm. kind of references that he was Goliath. So that's where the whole measuring size is. Yeah. So and, and he ain't Perry White no more, or he, <laughs> or is he's Perry so White he, and he's Goliath. Uh, What's so up? he's officially part of the MCU. He's no longer part of the DC. Well, he can't hey, technically. He can't. Can he play both roles? Yeah, that's what I mean, doing. Man of Steel 2 is going to come out eventually. Okay, he has to be he Perry. To, you give me yes. Frank Langella again. Or? How is he going to do that? Can't. Or you can, but. I mean, luckily his role's really small, so we'll see. I mean, we got Brolin as far as MCU and, and, and Fox and Marvel. But it's still Marvel. I've never, I've not seen Oh, no, it. no, hey, look, Ryan Reynolds was, was Green Lantern. Green Lantern, there you go. <laughs> but he's not Green Lantern anymore. Yeah. See, huh. so. I don't know, that's going to be like, interesting. Man, Man of Steel 2 is going to come out. That, it's going to be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're going to be measuring? Forget oh. All right. <laughs> so sticking with Marvel, and we spoke about Deadpool uh, earlier, Deadpool 2 earlier, mm -hmm. that uh, um, Ryan Reynolds out there right now, that's mm -hmm. uh, coming out in uh, May 18th, so we'll see how that um, does plan out. But Ryan Reynolds is on a press tour right now, and he was asked about the possibility of Deadpool 3. Right now, there is no plans for a Deadpool 3. The way they said it in the trailer was like, let's kill it now. <laughs> yeah. Let's kill the franchise now. <laughs> but the next movie, the next time that you're going to see Deadpool will be an X-Force. So oh, yeah. they really want to get pretty, that. That's basically going to be Deadpool 3. They really want to get that going uh, as soon as possible mm -hmm. because, you know, you still have the Disney-Fox merger uh, deal happening right now. And they, they don't have enough time to squeeze out those two films. Right. Uh, Deadpool 3 and X-Force under and by their way, label. Deadpool 3 doesn't need to be next year. It just needs to be like in a couple of years. But the like, thing was though, and they made a good point about it, because of this merger, the, the character of Deadpool will possibly change when it's owned by Disney. They might water him down a little bit. They may. And that that is that's a big factor. So will they recast for one? They're not. Or two, are they going to, you know, harden it up a little bit and leave it as is? Mm -hmm. What do you think they should do? Well, I think they should leave it alone. Marvel said that they will not do any rated R movies. They're not going to do any rated R movies. So anything that happens with Deadpool is going to be its own thing. It's his own thing. So <laughs> David Pumpkins. <laughs> do, you, do you think it's, it's going to be a lot like Carnage? I mean, not Carnage, uh, Venom? Because Venom is the same thing. It's all I mean, it might be well, Sydney. Sydney. I mean, <laughs> what's funny is that Venom, um, everything that's going on with Fox, I think all it's good. Look, they oh, Venom be, Sony. So. I mean, I'm sorry. So, um, Everything that's going so uh, New Mutants get basically got wiped off the table. I don't think that's coming out. No, it's coming out. They had to. They, I don't think that's it's coming just out. too. It was just too R. It was too. Scary. I don't think that's coming out. It's coming out next year. No, that movie's coming out. Coming it's out. coming out next year. I know it's coming out next year. No, they already pushed it back. It's it's not coming out. <laughs> that movie's not coming out. I bet you they're gonna say like we reshot the movie and it's a completely different movie. I guarantee you this movie doesn't come out the way it's supposed to be coming out. Okay, now that's different. The way it comes, the way it's supposed right, so, to be. Okay, so rated R to PG-13 is one thing. I bet you this whole story gets rewritten and reshoot this movie. Well, once uh, officially Disney or Marvel, this movie gets completely changed. Uh, Dark Phoenix is supposedly the last chapter mm -hmm. in this. That's what I said. This is it. So. This is it. It's over at this point. New Mutants is probably not even going to come out, period. Should they just reboot Deadpool when they get it? No. Oh, okay. All right, I'm just curious. Because it's it's his own thing. <laughs> the uh, I, because it can exist outside of any universe anyway. So it's like whatever. So just throw it in at that. Look, just keep it as is. We've already accepted Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. We dealt with the original one that we hated, and then we like to say we like the new iteration. Why change it now? Yeah, exactly. Um, it, right now, Deadpool Two is projected to open at over 150 million dollars. Uh, so. A lot of money. Theaters are going to be very, good. very busy in May. I hope I'll tell you that. Because Infinity War will money. still be there. Yeah. Deadpool 2. Then next week, then the week after that is Solo. It's busy time at the movies. Good. So there's some real quick, just real quick things I wanted to talk to you about. Right. Power Rangers bought out by Hasbro. I don't like Or this. bought by Hasbro. I don't like this. And uh, now they're part of the Hasbro in, uh, cinematic universe. I don't like this. I don't like this whatsoever. I don't, I'm okay with the buyout because if not, Saban was not going to do anything with it. Okay, I see that. So, so like, it, the money, the money, the money wasn't. They didn't make enough money with the reboot. But they made. They did. They didn't make, make money. money. They didn't make what they wanted. 
Right. Because they said they were going to do like six movies when this was originally announced. It was like, oh, we're gonna, we have all these plans to do all these movies, and they didn't make the money they wanted. So that's the reason why they put it up for sale. So Saban wasn't going to make a sequel to Power Rangers, which I actually liked. I liked it too. Which is funny. It's slow, like, but I liked it. I liked all of the movie that didn't have to do with the Power Rangers. <laughs> Once they became Power Rangers, I was like, this is dumb. And it was like the rest of the movie before that Power was Rangers really no. good. Tell it or not. <laughs> I love Power Rangers, by the way. I love, Power, dumb. I love Power Rangers. I never liked the Power Rangers. I love much. the Power Rangers. I've seen they're okay. I've seen 20 seasons of the fucking Power Rangers. <laughs> I love the Power Rangers. But when they got to the actual they Power Rangers. ain't no wacky When they got to the Power Ranger portion of this movie, I was like, this is dumb. But the portion before that made sense. And it was like, okay, I get it. And it didn't make the money they want. Okay, so that's fine. They weren't going to do a sequel. So I'm okay with Hasbro buying them because that's the only way we're going to continue with this franchise. But what's hard about that is that. But you're going to throw it into this. Exactly. And, and like, and don't do that. Paramount <laughs> owns Hasbro. Right. They, they're part of Hasbro. So, and you know, you saw their track record. Mm-hmm. And last night, Transformers last night did not help them. Mm-hmm. So if, if uh, Power Rangers didn't do, if that property didn't do much with the reboot, what makes Paramount think that they're going to do anything just being part of the Hasbro? The only thing I can think of is that back in the old TV show, there was a crossover with uh, Turtles. The, yeah. And it's like, that's the only crossover I can see that makes sense. Yeah. But that's a stretch. That's such that's a stretch. also Paramount. It's, that's, so why they, that's why they maybe. could do it. It was like, that's such a stretch. It made sense in the TV show because it was the in TV show. But then that's, the cross, it, then that's the crossover I'd go with. I wouldn't put them in the, in the Hasbro cinematic universe. they're well, going we'll to. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> they're All going right. to. Next. By the way, it was like, they're not even going to do a Turtles 3. So it's like, that's the only way they're going to do a Turtle 3 is to do it as a crossover. Turtles 3. I like Turtles 2. Hey, I like Power Rangers. <laughs> the next one, He-Man and Skeletor are brothers in the new in the new Masters of the Universe. I can't flip you off any harder than I'm flipping. That you is right the now. stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. First of all, Skeletor is actually his uncle, technically, is is He-Man's uncle, not his brother, which makes him She-Ra's brother. Yeah. Triplets without Eddie Murphy, so. Danny DeVito, and Thomas <laughs> Schwarzenegger. But this Great is just downright stupid. It's don't do this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see that, especially see if you get Kevin Lutz to play He-Man. Because they wanted to give more of a like, uh, like, oh my God, it's like I have to fight my brother type deal. It's like, oh, we're balanced and we're equal. Blah, blah, blah. So you think the sibling rivalry in that context, it's it, that's more powerful effect because it's been played out with Loki and Thor. Yeah. So mm. you think that's the? Let's go back. That's to, what they're doing. Let's yes. Go back to yeah. Simba and Scar. Yeah. yeah that's that all they're doing. Is, it's like. It, it, Obviously, the person who's directing this film says, like, you know, we need more of a, of a reason for them to have, you know, odd, be at odds at each other. And it can't just be like, oh, I'm good and I'm bad. It has to be like, oh, it's like, I'm your brother. <laughs> so stupid. I hate it. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I, it's one of those things where, like, hey, look, do I want to be upset about that or do I want to accept that they're going to do ROM and Visionaries? And <laughs> Visionaries, I go with ROM. I, don't, I still don't even ROM know and Mask. And you know what? If you want to go back. ROM had the best opening theme song, but it's not a good mask show. Mask had a freaking. That was a good show. You I know? said ROM, I meant Mask. I mean. Oh, Mask was a good show. You like Mask? Hey, Silverhawks and Thunderhawks and Thundercats. Silverhawks and Thundercats. And if you want, go back to the old days of For the Goods, episode five. Boy, and we talk about all about this <laughs> because, yes, we really do want Silverhawks and Thundercats. Yeah, yeah we do. All right. Good men are hard to find, right, ladies? Uh-huh. And you answered that. Okay. Good men are hard to find, right, ladies? Well, I'm answering for them. It's time for WTF! <laughs> oh, good God. All right. Oh, man. Good men are hard to find for some ladies, uh, which makes it hard for those who want kids. Well, uh, adoption is always an option, okay, of course. Uh, but now there's a device that's called the seeding finger, which helps what? them impreg, which helps women impregnate themselves. Is it really a finger? It is really a finger. And uh, <laughs> what's in the finger? What's in the finger? Ooh, semen. <laughs> There is some, you got to read this. I can't, I'm not going to read the entire thing. Please read the entire But thing. it's long. It's really long. But so it's, what, you get somebody to fill up a finger full of semen <laughs> and then you put the finger inside you? I don't even have any more because it's so freaking crazy. Um, anyway, uh, South Korean industrial engineer and artist, uh, Koo Hyunjans, uh, designed this thing. It has three compartments, pocket to generate sperm, a tube, and a stem to inject the semen. And all of this is pretty much in a hand, and the finger comes out, and you put the finger in your JJ v- v- there, uh, for, and you impregnate like, yourself. Why, now, is this, why is this not a dildo? 
I don't know. <laughs> but his first name's Koo, so that's Koo. That's Koo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so when somebody tells you to go after yourself, you really can't. <laughs> Even that's not safe. How, how does that work? I'm, now, I'm all for medical advancement, but damn. <laughs> Impregnate yourself. Okay, so there was this whole thing. I was I was reading this whole thing about like people who who wanted to do like they wanted to do artificial insemination, but they couldn't afford it. So then they were like, you know, I'll find a donor and then like jerk off in like a turkey baster and then like, no, it's a real thing. I'm not making this up. It's a real thing. <laughs> and then like, squash squash. <laughs> the, uh, and then you close <laughs> you close your legs and you shake your ass. And it basically. <laughs> And basically, that, that's that's how people were impregnating themselves, and they didn't want to go to the doctor and spend all this fertility money. But this just seems like weird. It was like, why would you do a finger? Why, well, why wouldn't you make it anatomically correct? I don't know, but uh, it, that's cool. That's, that's cool. That's his name. He's he. I mean, obviously, this is designed for people who. So we'll see how this works out to go and f yourself and get pregnant. But, uh, hey, who's the dad? Me. Yeah. <laughs> that's the finger taking thing. The finger is the is that. Terrence, take us home. I, I, uh, I'm always like up and down with the WTF. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. It's not a good one. Oh, it's not a good one. But anyway, if you're still here with us, if you're still here with us, please make sure you comment below. Tell us uh, what you feel about the finger insemination thing. Or <laughs> make sure you like this video because you actually like the type of topics, not this one, that we do. Uh, as, well as, make sure, as well as make sure you subscribe so that way you know about all the other videos Ooh, that we man. do. And click the notification bell so that way you're aware of the videos when you actually post them. At least there was uh, nobody putting their wiener in a clam this time no that was a good we still one. got comments like ew <laughs> <laughs> so we want to i want to thank all of you guys that actually participated in uh, in voting in our pop in our twitter pop culture kumite the final four that uh that uh, are uh, in the kumite was deadpool versus avengers mm -hmm. captain america winter soldier versus logan avengers beat deadpool logan beat uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. So the final two that go at it in, the, in the Marvel edition of the Pop Culture Kumite Twitter edition uh -huh. is Logan versus Avengers 1. <sighs> I already know I'm both. So it is, uh, up, is up on our Twitter feed, so please feel free to, uh, to look into that and place your votes, and we will announce the winner on the next show. All right. For Aspen, wherever the hell she's at, not where the hell he's at, I'm Manny. I'm Terrence. And that was the goods. Uh, hurry up! Fuck. I'm not gonna shit. Alright. That's a fuck. That is so stupid. He Man and Skeletor are brothers? Because they want. You know why? That's his fucking uncle. Well, because I would, it would, I would probably guess that they have more. Well, never mind. We'll, so, talk, hey, we'll talk about it in a minute. So, uh. Don't say shit. Shut up. No. <laughs> the, um. Uh,